back. So, I gotta be honest with y'all, I did a little bit more work off screen than I meant to. Originally, I was just gonna be mining XP from the farm, which went pretty well. We got to 41 levels, which I haven't gotten up to this level in a long time just because I'm constantly, you know, eating myself off of high places. So, and then I also did some more construction on the outside. I finished up the storage room, gave it a nice window, lined up the walls, got all the slabs on top, and added in some lanterns for light. And I went up top and did some work there as well, which I'll go up and show you guys what I did. What is... Pillagers had become pirates and stole my boat. And they even shoot me out of there? Oh, oh. It would appear they can. But he doesn't appear to even... Okay, there's his face. That's a good doggo. Alright. Did he drop any loot? Oh, that is so disappointing. So, so disappointing. Alright. Yeah, we also got another dog or two. Can't remember how many we had when I ended the last stream, but we've got three inside and this dude who just... I don't know what he's doing. He doesn't want to go inside for some reason. We expanded the sugar cane farm quite a bit. Now we get almost three stacks from harvesting at once it's all grown. But I just want to show you guys how much loot we've gotten from this farm so far. So I've taken a couple things out here, but overall, I went through and organized it a bit, and this is what we've got. Four stacks of round flesh. Don't really care about that. Don't need it. Two and a half stacks of bones, three iron ingots, two and a half stacks of arrows, three full stacks of gunpowder, and then some. A little bit of string. Only a couple spiders are spawning in there. More than a full set of gold armor, almost all of which is enchanted. Uh, we do have another set of golden boots that I moved inside. Just because they already had some good uh, protection enchantment on them, so I figured I'd use those for when we go to the nether. Chainmail armor, all that. Alright, let's go take a look at the enchanting room. I think you guys will like it. And I did modify the doors, as you can see. I realized that once I pushed this wall out of it, I think I pushed this wall out. I don't know, I moved something. I realized this was not dead center. It was an even number, so I couldn't get it. Or, I don't know, math. I made it symmetrical and put a button on it. Pressure plates on the inside. It would be nice if that poor doggo came in. Here, I'll open the door for him. Alright, let's go upstairs. So, it is obviously not finished. I'm going to put a lot more stuff up here in the long run, but right now this is what we have. I really do not like that. I hate that with a passion. I was just trying to find a spot to put it. Eventually, I'll put a chest or two up here as well, so we can put stuff in here. So we got a nice window here. It's going to run the length of this entire area. I can't knock this out, because this is where our ladder goes. I like. I want to keep the concept of having a door there. These furnaces are going to go eventually. I was just using those for smooth stone. And we ended up keeping the outline of the room below us for the most part. I was hoping to keep the bookcases going along it, but I had to cover them out to keep them going for the enchanting table. And we did enchant a couple things. Like I said, I got a little carried away. Sorry, guys. I don't know how much you guys actually want to see on screen and how much you guys really don't care about. But so what we enchanted was our diamond breastplate. We got blast protection 2 and unbreaking 2 on it. Our diamond pickaxe, we got unbreaking 3 efficiency four which I'm loving that only other thing I really want to get on there is fortune and mending and our sword we got smite for a knock back too not too bad not a big fan of knockback I feel like it's kind of a pointless enchantment it just makes it harder to take things out and I'm just trying to remember what I did Oscar so you guys can probably hear that all those cows underneath me I just realized I was trying to annoy my sister-in-law last night, so I went ahead and turned the... Oh, wow, no, that's... That is turned back down. Oh, goodness. We have a lot of cows down there. 
All right, so I added in some pumpkins to uh, line them up just right so that directly they would all go this way. Wheat's been doing pretty decently. Can't complain. Let's take a look at all these cows real quick. We had more. We had more. I had enough work. I was able to make all the books I needed for the bookshelves. And this is what we have left. And I don't know where that spider's coming from. I've had a couple spiders just... And we keep going down. So... I was blessed yesterday night with an enderman carrying a grass block. And I remember when we were building the cow farm, I was saying how I wanted them to have grass and all that, because that way I feel a little more homely for them. But the issue is that is you need a grass block to grow more grass. And you either get that using silk touch to pick up the grass block or putting dirt next to it. Or you kill an Enderman who's carrying one. So, as we won that round. So the goal for today, the goal for today is to go to the Nether. So we need to figure out a good spot to put a Nether portal. And I think we're going to do that upstairs. Since we already got enchanting going up there. And we've got a large area we can fill in. And we're going pretty high with our ceilings. So it would not be too hard to fill it in more. Maybe we could put it on the edge there. What? I just heard my door open. That's not okie dokie. One, two, three. Doge number four. I am confusion. It's not something like I don't want to hear my doors opening and closing without me doing it myself. So I'm thinking maybe we could knock out this window, put another portal out there, extend the glass up to the edge of the obsidian. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go for that. Alright. Now I'll just go, go ahead and wear out these two pickaxes. I got a total of 12 durability between the two of them. Alright, so base is going to be three. We'll make the base four wide. There we go. Now let's see how well the sufficiency works for us. Bloop. God will love it. Hopefully we'll get some Netherite when we go to the nether today, so I can really upgrade it to where I want it to be. Alright, so we're talking about going four wide here. So one, two, three, four. Alright. I don't know why I'm knocking out all this back here, but I don't know. Symmetry, right? Alright, let's go grab the obsidian and place it. I'm wondering if I should leave it one block from the edge or just go ahead and put it right in there. I think I'll put it right on the edge and then I can put glass panes on the outside of it. Or glass bo blocks. Which one? I'm not sure. Oh, and let's take a look in here. So I didn't finish building all the chests, of course. But this is the end product of the building part. So I had to put another slab here because since these slabs are on the top half of the block, I couldn't place it directly on. Well, I think it came out pretty good. We've still got a nice view. I mean, it would be better if we didn't put the mob spawner right there, but it is what it is. We got it nice and organized. Oh, I did intentionally stay up while I was uh, doing the XP farming, so that way I could come out and kill some phantoms. We made a ton of paper because I grossly overprepared. Got a pretty decent amount of seeds at this point that I'm probably never going to use because who uses seeds? Oh, glass, yes. That is what I actually came down here for. I always do that. I always forget what I'm actually doing. Let me go ahead and put that up. Oh, and the best thing we got. We got a carrot. 
Why am I getting so excited for that? Well, that means that we can start a carrot farm. Granted, it will be very slow going from starting off with just one, but oh, it's nighttime. Let's sleep. I'm not looking for any more fan membranes. Beans. I forgot the obsidian. That's what I actually went down here for. Obsidian first, then glass. And no, we're just gonna we're actually gonna use glass blocks for the outside. I don't think panes are gonna come out looking that great. All right. And obsidian. Where did we put the obsidian? That is the really big question. It might still be in our main hall chest. It is okay. We. I'm going to go ahead and toss that in a furnace real quick before I forget about it. Because we have a ton of uncooked steak now from slaughtering all those poor cows. Pete's going to get called to me, I know it. One of you guys is going to do it. Alright, so one, two, three. What? Oh, we're going to put there? Okay. Hold on a second. Oh. I just realized. Yeah, I just remembered I didn't grab enough obsidian to do a full solid wall. So, we can either go down and get more obsidian. So we can do the corners, or we can put a decorative block in there. And that is a question. I can't wanna see how it looks with glass blocks. I mean, this could end up being a wasted piece of glass, but I don't know. We'll see. Alright, so glass block is going to go there. And then... Hmm, okay. Let's go ahead and put that there so I can put the block down. And then there. And did we just make a square at another portal? I... Will this even work? I really want to see if this will work. I mean, it's kind of ugly. I don't think... Who is opening my gosh darn doors? There are no other pressure plates in here except for these two. Yeah, it's definitely that sound. That is going to freak me out. And my iron is all in here. Alright, let's grab an iron. Then what I think we have out here. Yeah, we need, I'm gonna put some of this up real quick. Just because I don't need everything. I'm carrying way more than I actually need to be carrying. Don't worry, I'll, I'll clear up my inventory before we go to the nether. Because otherwise I'm just gonna be stressing about it this whole time. See, I always, I try to push the button for when I'm going in. Okay, this will not work. So we need to build up one higher. Hmm. We could build this into the ground. Only our ceiling was one higher. Like, I thought we had pretty high ceilings at one, two, three, four. No, we're only four blocks high. It's, huh. See, I don't. I'm not good about planning my builds in advance. Hmm. Alright, give me like 10 seconds for inspirational thought. And we're back. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna build it downwards. I'm gonna leave the top where it is, and we're gonna take this, put it to the bottom, and we're gonna replace these blocks in front with glass. That way, we'll probably go glass all the way out to here, so that way, if you're looking at it from an angle, you can see this whole block of obsidian. I think that'll work. 
Oh, this is gonna be painful though, because we don't have silk touch. Oh, that hurts my soul. I just don't like wasting wasting resource blocks. It's crazy that even with efficiency four. Huh. Buns. I forgot about that. Yeah. We still have a house down there. So I should be able to see our nether portal <laughs> through it. But you know what? It'll buff out. I probably say that phrase a little too much. But I think this will actually look pretty cool in the end. Just bear with me for now. Oh, see, yeah, this looks decent. Maybe we could replace this with glass, too? I don't know. I, I'm just making up as I go along here, honestly. Should we... Ow. Okay, so, either I replace that one with stone, or I replace that one with glass. I'm gonna replace that one with stone. Do I have any regular stone on me? I think I got some regular stone in here. Uh... Alright, let's try to get center on it just so I can... Yep, and then we're going to build the glass up to those. I think that'll do it. Uh, maybe in the future, whenever I decide I'm chill with stained glass, I might switch this colored glass out for stained glass, but from the outside, I mean, it'll look kind of like it's stained. So I'm just doing the glass mainly, so that way when I travel back through it, I don't force myself out one side, being that side, and fall off the edge. Alright. Yeah, I think that looks pretty dope. Maybe we'll... Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna swap this out for... Gosh darn it. Don't hit the doggy, don't hit the doggy, don't hit the... Okay, I did not hit the doggy. We're good. Yeah, that is some aesthetic right there. Kind of. I mean, that that kind of kills the aesthetic somewhat. Just because we have that line, but... Alright. Well, let's go put our inventory up. Clear it out a bit. For some reason, I thought I saw an arrow going up. I swear I can hear mobs too. I, you know, I'm just gonna turn the master volume for this down because everything's just too loud. I don't know how loud it sounds for you guys, but for me it's a little bit deafening. Okay. Yeah. What did I come outside for? Alright, there we go. So I'm just gonna put this stuff up in here. Uh, we don't need buckets. Don't need a book. Don't need a wheat. Don't need carrot. Lapis. We will keep one axe on us. Actually, I'm gonna take that. And these are the boots I was talking about. That's actually. See, do we have other boots? Out here. We've got other enchanted golden boots. I might just. See, that is still so loud. See? Pretty effective. Alright, let's grab some more arrows. Better to have and not need than to need and not have. So these two have the same enchantments as this. But the only problem is, is they're a level below, so if I put them on here, it's not going to do anything, which is just disappointing. Hmm. So this is going to give me one armor. This is going to give me two. So let's look at how much we're going to lose. So we're going to lose two on here. And only lose one if we swap out the helmet, though. Is that math right? I think so? Question mark? I really wish we... Over time, hopefully... We get another helmet or another set of something. 
Because I want to be able to combine the enchantments on here. So we're going to wear that helmet. We're going to get patched up a bit first, though, before we take it with us. Oh, I need the gold. I need the gold first. See, I still hear zombies in here. Gotta turn this down a bit more. Right, hey, let me know in the chat if this is getting too loud or too quiet for y'all. I'm, I'm kind of playing it by ear here, so I need y'all's help with it. We'll grab two iron ingots, I mean, gold ingots, and see if that's enough to get to where I want it. In my last big build, I... Wait, is this how this works? Okay, it is. And that gets it pretty good. One enchantment does this have on it? Fire protection. Alright. Uh, hmm. Pot head. Not so hot head. A little bit of an LOL in there. Alright. Bingo. And it's also get my bow up to par a little bit. Just because it's getting worn out too. I don't want to take tools that are going to break to the nether with me, which I guess that means also we should probably go ahead and make another diamond pickaxe maybe put an enchantment on it. So we got this one that's almost full durability. I was thinking of 70 and yeah. Actually, we'll try it. We'll try fixing up that one first. I'm not sure if I can do this with enchanted one. Ah, uh, nope. Can't do that here. We gotta go to the anvil. With the regular bows, you can just pair them up in your own item inventory to fix them up with. But apparently, someone made it so you can't do that with enchanted bows, which I guess that makes sense. They want you to use the stuff that you make. Okay, yeah, that is perfectly acceptable. We are only four away from full durability, still maintaining all the enchantments. And so we'll put the other bow up somewhere as well. Do these things come alive or something? Because this is not where it was before. We had this pushed back. That is... I feel like I remember hearing something about that. About those things moving, but I have no idea. That is freaky. Big freaky. Okay. Okay, then. And we'll grab some steak, because I don't want bread to be my main source of food in the nether. We need something that's really going to sustain us. Yeah, I don't need slab, and don't need... The obsidian. Always bring flint steel. Anyone that was here for, I think it was either my first or my second episode I ever made. We went to the nether, didn't bring flint steel with us. Luckily, we brought an iron ingot, though, and we were able to find flint. I got hit by a ghast right as I was about to go through my nether portal, and it extinguished the flame on it. It's not a straight up. Oh, I forgot that pickaxe. Okay, I've got 15 torches. Let's take a look around real quick once this loads in. This is an interesting spawn. Right in the middle of a bunch of soul sand. That is not cash money, Moshe. I do not appreciate this at all. Yeah, we're literally on an island over here. We're on our own little island. In the middle of nowhere. I mean, wait. Oh. Oh, that is great. There's, I think it's called a nether fortress, right? I've never actually seen one. So I used to never go to the nether 
because honestly, I've never played Minecraft just so I could beat the game or anything like that. I played because it was just fun to do, and I was like, oh, another dark and spooky. Oh, and we got basalt flat. This is great, because black stone is one of my favorite building materials, and that is one of the best places to find it. Okay, I am no longer upset about this spawn getty. But that kind of rhymed. I made it rhyme, just like Mansion was Canson. However, comma, I... Oh, this looking at all this lava gives me massive amounts of anxiety. However, the area looks clear of mobs, at least. What, are these things friendly? Are they... Hello? I don't even know what you are. But you look kind of funny. Kind of makes me think of the droids from Mustafar. You know, you know. Oh, I see two enchanted swords over there. Oh, and we have a crimson forest. Okay. Yeah, we got a good spawn. Alright, we're gonna... Test out my bridging abilities here. It doesn't want to place it on the edge. Okay. How about now? There we go. And let's go over to the right just a little bit. A little more. Alright, that's perfect. This doesn't give me anxiety at all. I'm, I'm kind of screaming on the inside here. I... And hold on, before I go any further, let's not to be smart and not silly. There we go. Okay. Question is, am I gonna get completely in? Uh oh, I guess I really didn't need to do that. I could have literally just done that. But question is, are we gonna die if we go in there right now? I don't want to just die my first time going to the Nether in this world. I mean. My thing is, since we're in the middle of nowhere, it's going to be pretty easy to find our nether portal. I... What is that sound? That's not a ghast, is it? it? Sounds way too deep to be a ghast. Is it a blaze, maybe? Well, one of those things. I've never heard of blaze before. I have watched videos and seen people play before, of course. But, you know, everything sounds different when you actually hear it for the first time. I think it's just that dude. So I think we're going to bridge across here also. We're going to have to get some material though. What the heck is that, guys? Okay, we're on Y34. That's not bad. I can dig it. Okay, it's coming from that way. I'm probably going to widen these bridges out a little bit. Eventually. Probably not. No. I always tell myself I'm going to do things that I never do. Like, I still haven't done anything with that. No! 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 Okay. That's... Okay, then. Well, I've been bamboozled. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. And this is why I did not <laughs> do a uh, hardcore map. Huh. Well, okay, that is really loud. Okay, 
sometime between this episode and whenever I make the next one, I'm going to fix that, guys. I promise I'm going to make all the sound effects calm down just a wee bit. So we're going to calmly recover from our epic failure here and rebuild a bit. Good thing we have a ton of gold armors in our spawner over there. However, our levels, non-existent. We have zero levels. We can't even get back any of the levels I just lost. And that really is the most upsetting part of all of this. So we're going to start off with a pickaxe, of course. Alright, and then the sword. And then the rest for armor. See how much we can actually make. We'll leave the helmet for last, because we did discover... Oh my goodness, I don't even have enough to make boots and pants. Alright, that's going to be plus six, that's going to be plus three. So we're making pants. And then that leaves us a single diamond left. Alright guys, so I made the name of this episode going to the nether. Or just the nether. That, I'm sorry, but I guess that's going to be a lie. That's going to have to turn into a lie here. Because I'm, I'm not going back to the nether until I get myself replenished. I can't rightfully leave with just that little iron. One, two, three, four, five. We're just... And look at this, we're almost out of iron too. I've used so much resources, I don't even know on what, to be honest. But that is getting duly noted in the chronicles of my failures. And why is this moved? Why are you like that? Why are you up there? Hmm. Okay, torches. We're gonna need some torches. Do do do. Oh, perfect. One stack. Or one block, I mean. And that, that's exactly the reason why I never went to the nether. Because I knew I would do something like that. So I'm going to take the blast runs from out there. And I will need a crafting table. So I'm going to grab this. And a fair amount of wood. That's not my wood chest. That's my wood chest. 64 points ought to do it. Alright. Pickaxe. Sword. Check. Armor, check. Extra wood, check. Craft table, check. Extra coal, check. The only thing we need now is a blast furnace. And we... And we'll make more torches as we go. Do I have anything in here? Oh, I do. Cool. Yeah, just... Just chill out at home. Doges. I'll put the coal up. Uh, not gonna bother bringing the iron. I always get stuck on those doorways, and I don't know why. I'm just incapable of getting through them. Alright, let's get back to mining. This really is... Huh. Okay, I see we got at least one person watching right now. I need I need y'all's help deciding what to do. Let me know if you want me to go back to the nether and try again and not die in the lava, or if you want me to go mining for resources.
Uh, no response. I can't rightfully leave myself. Well, you know, we're going to the Nether. We're going back to the Nether. We're gonna try and salvage some dignity here. Who knows? Maybe some of my stuff just will be going the door. Thank you. Let's grab two stacks of cobblestone this time, and we're gonna send it if I can get through the door. Oh, big kid! I can, I can use doors. I promise. All right. Wait, food. I, I need food. I don't know, my mind's all over the place. I'm tired. And I hear villagers outside? Goodness gracious, I cannot get a rest today. This is the third time I've had villagers swing by. I mean, not today, but in general. I killed some last night. Actually, these are probably from that last... They keep falling in the water too, they're not doing themselves any favors here. Like Jaws. Really, I really do not like that. He was looking away from me and still hitting me. Weirding me out. Did I get the banner? I want the banner. I like collecting them. They make good decorations if you ever make walls. We are not going to die from that dude. Oh, there's the edge of our wheat farm. Remember, we do still have those two bows in here with the enchantments and a ton of arrows. So we're going to go ahead and clear it out in here. I do need a gold helmet. Dude. Oh, and that dude dropped one. Projectile protection 4. What is up? I will definitely snag that. We have fire protection on there and projectile protection on there. Hmm. We're going to be safe against any skellies in there, I guess. So we're going to grab those two. And a stack of arrows. I think that should be enough arrows. I'm definitely going to need to eat before I go. I'll go ahead and grab that bread while we're waiting for, for the steaks. Oh, uh, where'd the bread go? Yeah, I'm guess I think there is a cave up there somewhere, and hopefully that restores it. Okay, we're gonna name this after the last one. Oh, we don't have enough XP to name it, so it's it's just keeping its name. So something I used to do is I used to put a chest by my nether portal to drop stuff in that I didn't want to take. So we're going to do that real quick. This is going to be really... It would help if I remembered the recipe for a chest. Put that up here. Yeah, right there. Okay. See? Now I can put stuff up in here when I don't want to bring it with me. I guess I won't need that. I need to fix that helmet up. I know guys, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place right now. Before I can do it. Can I do this in here? Question mark? No. Okay, it was worth it was worth a shot, right? Best way to learn is by trying. Please do not make me use XP. Don't require XP. It requires XP. Okay, so we're just banking on not getting hit with anything, I guess. That's unfortunate. Well, I guess we could always just craft a new helmet, but...
how much gold do we actually have? Yeah, we're just gonna quickly craft a helmet. So no enchantments today for the helmet. But later on down the road we will. That's a little going. So, yeah, watch paint dry, right? Waiting for that steak to cook. This video is time for me and watch this wonderful video of the arrow slightly moving and the fire slightly going down. And I just realized my mic has been off for I don't know how long. So, that was me trying to get my stuff together been a rough day so far, but you know we're going to come back from it, because we have an optimistic attitude, and that's all we need, and wow, this is slow, we just hit halfway, optimistic attitude is going a little low right now, you know, we're, we're going to see if we can make a smoker before that thing even finishes, uh, campfire, alright, yep, three logs, three sticks, and a piece of coal. We have our coal on us still, right? Yep. Alright, we need four more logs and a furnace. Thing I just have a wall of them chilling over here. And why do I have a campfire for? I know I made it for some. Oh, I was thinking that I needed a campfire for that. That's why. Like I said, rough day so far. It hasn't really been a rough day. I haven't had to do a whole lot, but I don't know, it's just been tiring. We're going to go check out our XP farm. See what mobs have been spawning. Uh, it's weird, like, sometimes I'll be gone for 10 minutes and come back to it, and the room will be completely full, getting ready to start just, what it what's it called, crush killing? Or compact killing. I don't know when there's too many mobs in an area and they just start dying. All the times I'm gone for like two hours, come back and there's two zombies and a creeper, and that's it. All right. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It took me a while to figure out that. Oh. Shall I go? We're gonna hunt some mobs real quick, just because we got a little bit of time to kill while we're waiting for that. Let's eat first and not go into battle with hunger. Of course, we're gonna take out the skeleton first. And then the spiders. I don't think spiders actually do that much damage, they're just so fast that. I don't know, they make me start panicking sometimes. Not like hardcore panicking, but I find them to be worrisome. And plus it's gonna get some levels back. Creeper. How many shots does it take me to kill mobs with this bow now? Okay, still two shot for it. What about a skeleton? Or not. Let's kill the spider. We already got it ranged in. 
stupid spider. So I like to know how many shots it takes me to kill a mob with a bow, just so that way I'm prepared for what's going to happen. I don't like to go into anything half cocked. I like to go into it. Oh, I didn't name it. That was the other bow. I like to go into it half cocked. A bit of a history buff. I I try to make relations a lot. Um. So Hathcock, Carlos Hathcock was a sniper in Vietnam, and he was given a mission to go into northern Vietnam and take out a general. Pretty simple mission overall, right? Um, it entailed him having to crawl. Wait, hold on. I saw an Enderman over there. Let's find. Okay, this is perfect right here. Shall kill this man once we. Neener, neener, neener. Oh, goodness gracious. Did he just... I think my health is already a little low. Why does it sound like he's coming from that way when he died over here? Is he riding it? I remember the first time... I think the first thing I ever saw riding something, it was a baby zombie. Riding a chicken. I saw that and I was just baffled. I had no idea that mobs could ride the spiders. It freaked me out so much. And you know, we got it. I don't know how to move this without just destroying it. Yeah. I. I'm not dealing with that. No. This is too weird. It really is. Well, we're going to put this upstairs where I don't have to notice it when it moves. Where shall we put it? Put it there, is it going to... Okay, cool. Uh, let's get the armor on it. There we go. See, I don't like I don't like that paints automatically connect to every block that's touching. That means I can't put anything along this outer area without connecting to it. Now if I did regular glass blocks, I could but I like the aesthetic of the paints. Oh it's just so thin. I don't know, I'll find it doesn't really matter because you don't end up with all the edges. Like you see these blocks all connected together seamlessly. Same with the paint, except for these little bits here. Uh, with some shaders, it does away with all of that. I think that's really cool. I tried to run, I think it was Seuss 11. Yeah, I, want, I can't remember the dude's name, but he was doing a hardcore series on a desert world. Like, he changed the train spawn to be nothing but desert. Which, I didn't know this, but Apparently desert, not a great place to try and survive. Because the issue with it is trees are extremely rare. So even if you do survive a little while, the likelihood of really having any long-term success is low. And once you get going, you're usually good, I guess. It's just a matter of finding what you need. I'll put this bread up. Because you find one tree, then you can plant them all. So you cut it down and get the saplings, all that. You all know how that works. It's just a matter of finding that first tree, because until then, uh, your only source of wood is what you can steal out of the village. But apparently the blacksmiths are known for having... We have our gold tunnel on right there. That is a gas. That is a gas. Nope. Nope. Can we just, like, not? And I can't really run. This is... Well, it doesn't seem to be aggro. Never mind. Danger. Alright, so it's on our level, so it's actually gonna keep shooting upwards, I guess. And it's, like, underneath right now. You're not coming at me, right? Don't come at me, bro. So don't come at me. 
Alright, it's gonna blow that up, I guess. So I'm probably gonna have to make a glass tunnel here. Oh, did y'all see that? My moves there. Alright, let's get this last one here. We forgot the flint and steel. We forgot the flint and steel. Go, 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 go. Okay. I'm here. I just, I just need a second, guys. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end this stream. Um, in a little bit, I might start another one of me mining trying to replenish my resources and praying we get as much luck as we did on the last mining live stream where we got 42 diamonds. But I'm not going to go to the nether for a minute. Um, I brought up a glass tunnel. I'm going to talk about that for a second. So, for whatever reason, I don't know if it's all mobs or just gas, but they can't actually see you through the glass. So like, there could be a gas right on the other side of this. He could look straight at this block here. But all he sees is the glass. He doesn't see me, so he won't attack it. So even though glass is one of the most fragile blocks, probably, for blast, I also don't know if it's the most or what is. But I'd imagine if this actually got hit with a gas, it would just blow out this whole section and probably still do me damage. But it provides protection because I can't be seen. So if you make... Uh, long tunnel out of the glass, you're going to be completely safe from the gas. Glass protect from gas. Alright guys, this is me signing off for now. I'll come back a little bit later to start that mining session.